There's a new deal for Marcus Rashford at Manchester United. Four years to stop all of the nonsense that was going on about whether to extend him on the automatic contract renewal that they had. They've actually now put the money on the table, Stevie. It's around £200,000, you'd think mm. minimum, a week, uh, making him one of the highest paid at the club, but no surprise. No, and uh, they've done something right. It's a long time since we've sat here and, and praised uh, what's going on behind the scenes at Manchester United, but listen, this kid's... No question, uh, uh, if, if he was available for transfer, there is not a team in the world who wouldn't want to sign him. So yes, Manchester United uh, are looking after the future, uh, and the future certainly is Marcus Rashford. Uh, yes, it's a lot of money, but the guy's worth it. Is he going to be the main prong of that attack? 100%, no question. Um, 200 grand a week tells you what they think of him at Manchester United uh, and I agree with them, yes. The only problem they have right now is how do they get him the ball, how do they get him the service uh, because if they can do that, if they can, if they can sign some players who are capable uh, then Rashford and Manchester United will benefit. He's, he's the start of the puzzle for Manchester United and it's a great start. Of course, the players that have been linked with moves away from the club, two of them are strikers, and Alexis Sanchez and Romelu Lukaku are on massive money themselves. Mm. Uh, him being the main uh, prong of that attack would perhaps indicate that either they have to play to a system that suits him, or one of them, or two of them, or three of them, with Pogba as well in midfield, will be leaving the club. How do you see that and who they might want to bring in? Um, who do they want to bring in? Listen, if they had a wish list, then that's pretty straightforward. The problem they have is convincing anybody to come in. You know, if you're letting Pogba go, for example, then how are you going to fill his boots? Um, you can't always just throw money at somebody and they'll take it because all the top clubs in the world right now are looking for the best players. Real Madrid are, Barcelona are, Man City always are. Uh, and so... Everybody's thrown money at it, and Manchester United right now are way down the pecking order. So I would suggest that, yes, Lukaku can go. I think you can get a lot of money for him, uh, and that's a good move. I think losing Pogba is a bad move, one, for the starting eleven, and two, to encourage players to come to Manchester United. Just a quick word on Alexis Sanchez as well. Mm. Given his form at the Copper America for Chile, do you think that there's a, there's a big a big chance that he comes back and, and, and plays a very important role next year. Uh, if I'm a Manchester United fan, uh, then I'm delighted to see what he's doing. Uh, no question, his time at Manchester United, I think has been blighted by injury, and so you didn't see the best of him. He's shown in the Copa so far that he looks somewhat back to his best. And so if I'm a Man United fan or, or, or involved in Manchester United, I'm delighted to see that. OK, so Daniel James through the door, wan through the door for big mm. money. Yep. Edward Woods talked about more signings, more exciting signings to come this summer as well. We've talked about the need for it. Everyone yep. sees that. Now you've got Rashford tied down. How do you rate the summer so far for United? Um, I would suggest it's pretty average. You know, they've, they've signed one player in wan -Bissaka. You know, Unfortunately, Manchester United need players right now. You know, Wood was saying they'll have some exciting news well, I'm sorry, I'm not quite as excited as him because I've just told you that I don't believe that the best players right now want to go to Manchester United. So unless they're going to sign a whole host of young up-and-coming stars, yes, Juan Bissaka is one of them, but I don't think there are as many as he needs. You know, Manchester United right now need help at the back, at the middle and the front. Yes, they've signed Rashford, but they need, they need more help. So... This is, a, this is a big project, uh, and it's not a project, I think, that can be solved in one transfer window. So Woodward might be excited, but I'm not quite as excited about it myself. OK, so as July begins, many of the players returning to Carrington for the summer pre-season, but all of the hard work must continue behind the scenes at Old Trafford. What a summer there is still to unfold.